I only been really doing the swiping shit for three years, but other than that, I've been straight scamming. Like I've been straight scamming, Instagram scamming, Twitter scamming, every kind of scam that you could think of. Niger, you know, like the Nigerian phone call. I used to do that, all that shit, bro. But now I just like the recent years I've been fucking with the bank fraud and the credit card scams and shit. Even if some people say I'm stitching on myself, fuck y'all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck y'all. Y'all's just mad because y'all can't even do the shit that I'm doing. It took me 10 minutes. Most of that is just straight through. That's why it's not rhyming in some of the parts because it was just me telling shit. And then when I listened to it fully through, it was like, damn, okay? Even though it don't rhyme, fuck it. And it worked. I was going broke trying to go into the studio, you feel me? So. This shit really paying off on me. And that's really just t me telling my life. So I understand where people be like, be real in your raps and this shit might go through. Like that shit really works for real. Just be real in your raps, it's gonna work. Well, it's not gonna work for everybody, but you know what I mean. Let me tell y'all about this one time at Walmart. Walked in and played it so smooth, I grabbed the shopping cart. I'm punching bar for bar. So I'm thinking while I'm in the studio. So you feel me? So it's easier to do this shit. If I'm at home writing it and that's some bullshit. When you speaking facts, it's easy. Like when a nigga lying, you gonna be overthinking shit. Like, oh, uh, uh, all that bullshit. Break my cousin off a couple hundred cause she play her part. I scammed the same Walmart 50 times. I gotta play it smart. All I know is I gotta play it smart this time. The next time, every time. I ain't gonna lie, but look, the going in store parts, I'm not doing that no more. But scamming people, I'm still doing that to this day. I'm not gonna even lie to you. Listen to what I gotta say, I'm about to get honest. Played it crazy like I'm shopping here for clothes and hit electronics. It's just depending on how you play it. If you going inside there looking nervous and being, if you walk inside there with a feeling that you go get caught, it's a chance you're gonna get caught. Nigga, walk in there like a regular person, do your job and get the fuck out. Grab some Xboxes and TVs, I think about seven. I told them that these are all gifts so they won't even question. Soon as I got up to the counter, they start asking questions. Like, am I getting these for kids or some family members? I told them because I ain't getting none for Christmas in December. She responded back like, okay, sir, I understand. Had an Xbox in my left and TV in my other hand. That should be so funny if you watch Stripe Story video. I had the cameraman just record me doing it. After all them times of me actually doing it, I just said, fuck it. Called the cameraman and went in there and actually did it. Told her I think I left my cash, let me call my friend. I let two minutes pass by and reached inside my pocket. Now this one shit about to get real and nobody can stop it. Pulled out the debit card that I just embossed. Was hoping that the clerk ain't look at me weird and I had to call the boss. A fresh piece that you just punched up, you really can't just go to the store after. You gotta let it dry, like, you feel me? So it can look like a brand new piece. And you gotta actually scratch it up, damage it yourself. Like, this is what I be doing. I be, after I print my fake IDs and shit, I get some aluminum form, wrap them up in that, put it on the floor and scrape it all the ground so it look like an old ass ID, you know what I mean? Can't walk in there with a brand new ass laminated ID, that shit gonna look stupid. She asked me what I like to do, I said playing golf. I stuttered when she asked that question, I had to play it off. She said my total was 2,500 plus taxes. Thinking to myself, soon as we done, I'm getting X maxes. She bagged everything up and put them in the cart. My shit approved, I no longer got a racing heart. If you walking out, being a regular person, if you have a regular outfit on, if you're not wearing no designer looking flashy, no jewelry, you're cool, man. All you gotta do is walk out of there with your shit. I was a law abiding, a law abiding citizen, just buying my items. <laughs> Even though it went through, I still gotta play it smart, cause I was here for gift cards from the very start. The first time I actually went to a store, it was Dollar General. This one, the gift cards was popping though. So around this time, you can walk into a store with a fire piece that you just punched up and buy some gift cards, some reloadable gift cards below. 500 on each one. I used to say I'm getting teddy bear for uh for my little sister because she just graduated and I want to get her some gift cards. So it's like a gift. As soon as you walk out, you gotta you keep driving around the city though to stack up the gift cards. You don't want to just go cash in a little petty thousand. So you gotta keep driving around the city. So you stack up like 20 can gift cards or like 10 can gift cards till you feel comfortable. Drive back to the city, go downtown to Woodward check cashing, cash in all your shit. Now I'm about to go to aisle seven where my cousin at. She let me slide at any time and I'm loving that. She let me push through 5,000, then I double back. So you can add it up yourself how much I made in here. Got all the items that I needed, then I disappeared. Rental was filled up with Xboxes and TVs. Was hot as hell on our way to AT&T. Plus I had my Bluetooth MSR on the back seat. It's different types of MSRs, but I, my favorite one, MSR X6. For everybody who keep asking, that's where I got the X6 from, the MSR. Too hot to take the freeway, we took the back street. I'm lucky we ain't get caught on our way to the phones. Walked in smooth, we gotta go through these same steps. But before I walk in, I gotta take a breath. Walk up to the counter, can I apply for iPhone X? All my profiles got good credit, so I'll be paying less. 
$400 down payment, but I ain't even stressed. Giving you all free sauce on the interview, by the way. For the iPhones, you can go to the, that shit easy too, as long as you got a head to walk in, get a head, apply for the iPhone Xs. Just go listen to my songs. I love a profile with 700 credit score, cause I can grab four iPhones and grab some more. If I was doing it online, it'd be way quicker. Punch however much the fees get next day shipping. Then catch me somewhere where my plug next day flipping. Y'all really don't know what I'm talking about, but people watching know what I'm talking about. So if I was doing it online, you can punch the fees. It'd be way quicker and it'd be a low risk instead of you walking into the store with somebody and actually doing it. So if you're doing it online, you will get more iPhones and you will get approved. It's a better chance of you getting approved than actually walking into the store. If you get next day shipping, Go to your plug, you can go to any Metro PCS, y'all probably don't got that down here, but Metro PCS, you can go sell the phones, like 800 or something. Off of this nigga alone, I made six figures. I get a thousand every jack, he and Mount Clemens. Basically, it's Apple, you know how Apple got the iPhones, Apple Jacks, so iPhones is just Detroit slang. Y'all go catch on eventually though. I'm about to have a mixtape coming out called the Fraud Bible. I got like seven methods in here and they all still work. Whenever you buy Fraud Bible, you gonna get the Fraud Bible, you feel me? So I'ma just email it to everybody who copy. For everybody who watching, if you fuck with me, you fuck with me. If you hating on me, fuck you. If you see me out in public, I'ma murder you, nigga.